the flip side for Michigan State. It didn't start well, but it would end pretty positively for Tom Izzo chatting it up with Mark D'Antonio, who has a slightly large game coming up here on Saturday against Iowa. Midway through the first half, this is how it did not start well. Tom Izzo not happy. Damian Lee stealing the inbounds pass, one of his four first half steals. Denzel Valentine then finds Aaron Harris for the alley-oop, but Spartan still trailed there a couple minutes later. Quentin Snyder with the tip pass would eventually lob it to Donovan Mitchell. And Louisville was just rolling at that point in the first half. Final seconds of the first half. Costello finding Denzel Valentine. This is what you referenced earlier, Mike DeCourcy. I think I'm going with that one. I mean, I, I, that, there was just so much at work. And the thing was, we looked at it live and yep. thought, it's got to be a travel, right? And it wasn't. He and, kept his balance. And, Sean, you said at Michigan State, fortunate to only be down three at the break. Second half we go. Damian Lee with another pick and finishing it off with style. It looks like Louisville's in control until, Sean, Bryn Forbes heats up a little bit from distance. They were able to space out Louisville a little bit on the defensive end of the floor. Nice dribbling the other way by Valentine to kick it over. And if you let Forbes get his feet set, the difference between his makes and misses tonight, Mike, as you and I were watching the ball game, was his feet. If he got his feet set, it was going in. If he was fighting his feet, he was struggling. Unfortunately for Michigan State tonight, he got it done more often than not. Sue Ann Roback with the winners. And the answer to how they bounced back from the slow start was... Stops. Oh, we, we got stops on the defensive end. You know, um, it was, it was a stretch there when we were just trading baskets, trading baskets. You know, we would make a shot, they would make a shot. We would make a shot, they would make a shot. And finally, you know, we had we put together together a couple stops. And we got a couple key baskets from Aaron, you know, Brent and, and myself. And then after that, you know, we were grooving and uh, we just grinded out a win. They, they hit us with a pretty hard punch in the beginning. Um, we, we, we didn't know what was going to happen, but we knew we would have to react quick to, to make a change. And I think we just stepped up, you know, showed how tough we can be. There's been a few games now that we haven't put two halves together. And I think the biggest thing is we need to learn how to put both halves together and play a full game of a good basketball. So. They had us very stagnant, you know, and uh, it was frustrating. But uh, when we got the ball in the middle of that zone, then we hit Brent in the corner. He hit some nice things. What we didn't do tonight that we thought we'd score some buckets on, we get our running game going. Boy, to win a game like that under the circumstances on a team that I thought played awfully well, and their guard shot the ball so well. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with my team because we've had a tough two weeks here, you know, 16 days, and we played a lot of good teams and a lot of big games and traveled a lot, and shazam, we're still, we're still here. Well, congratulations. Thanks, man. Guys, back to you.